Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Summer Sunday's Hope News and today I want to talk to you about Godly Play. Godly Play is the provision that we have here at Hope Church for our preschool kids, so those up to about five years old. Um, and Godly Play runs on an ethos and a syllabus also called Godly Play and it's all about learning through exploring, uh, exploring stories and through playing together. Um, and we have not just used it for our under fives in the Godly Playroom during our services, but we've also used it as the heart of our community hope Godly Play sessions. So when we have the sandbox, the desert box in the middle and we tell stories with the figures, we gather the children around, that is a Godly Play resource being used. And I think it's a wonderful resource. So often when we gather around it and when we have everybody in together and we all kind of close in on the desert box and we listen to the story, whether it's Jonah being thrown up onto the beach by a whale or it's the wise men trekking across the desert, whatever it might be. So often, despite the fact we're in a room full of people with all these little under fives around, you could hear a pin drop. You could hear a pin drop because it draws people in, it engages. And honestly, as I've engaged with the Godly Play story, so often it's it's just totally nailed me. I've just been totally called out or God's just spoken to me so powerfully or moved in my life as I look at these stories through a new lens. We believe in Godly Play. We really like Godly Play here at Hope Church. Um, but, as, as of right now, we only have one person who's received any Godly Play training, and that's Angela. So she um, both sits in the middle for us and, and leads our sessions that way, but she also takes out, the, uh, takes out the youngest children and does the stories with them there. Um, and she's had the full training. She's fully qualified Godly Play kind of uh, facilitator. And then Fran has sometimes stepped in to do those as well, but she's really just drawing on her experience um, as, a, as a teacher in the past. But now we want to invest. We want to train people. We want to give Fran some training. I'd love to have a bit of training, but there's also space for others as well. And so we are um, inviting you to think about whether you'd like to come and receive some of the Godly Play training. The way it works is it starts with a taster session, um, which is just a few hours. Uh, and if that gets if that gets your creative juices flowing, if you get into that, if you're like, I could do this, then there's a more comprehensive training, which we, uh, we have some funding to send people on. But for now, if you're interested in facilitating some of our children's work, facilitating some of the work that we do in our Community Hope uh, services, if you're interested in learning about how to tell stories, how to be patient uh, and, and, and let open questions resonate around a room. If you're interested in engaging people with this way and leading us into encounter with God, then now is the time to be in touch. We have 10 spaces available for this, this taster session. Um, and so please do not hesitate to get in touch. If you're even just a little bit interested, we don't have a date set, we want to gather any interest and then we'll set a date and we'll all go and do this taster session together or we'll have it here in the church, however it will work. If you're interested, be in touch. You can talk to me, talk to Sam, who's doing some of our um, kids work whilst Fran's away on maternity leave. You can talk to Chloe, you can talk to Mary, talk to one of the welcome team or indeed, as always, email us at info at hopechurchislington.org. Godly Play is a wonderful resource and there is, an, I think, a, such an exciting opportunity to get involved in some of the facilitation here. So do not hesitate to be in touch. That's all for today, uh, but I look forward to receiving many emails uh, with your interest. See you soon.